XPRL can help credit analysts to make better decisions faster. Hello, my name is Thomas Bülmose. I am founder and CEO of JC Analytics. Before that, I was a credit analyst at Moody's Investor Services and worked as an auditor for PricewaterhouseCoopers. JC Analytics analyzes XPRL filings submitted to the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission. The results support investors with their investment decision. After completing this webinar, you will be able to better understand what investors' demands and expectations with respect to XPRL are. And we will discuss what currently hinders broader adoption of XPRL. Additionally, you will comprehend why XPRL is so important for credit analysts. In that respect, you will realize what potential comes along with XPRL to help credit analysts in their decision-making process. Lastly, after completing this webinar, you will be able to identify killer features of XPRL consuming apps. XPRL for investors. Is glory or gloom ahead? Those two citations are taken from a recently published report from two Columbia Business School professors. Among the many very interesting conclusions this report contains, I just wanted to highlight two. First, there is a clear demand for timely and structured machine-readable data which can be met with XPRL, but it has to easily integrate into existing processes. And second, Without high-quality data and integrated consumption tools, XPRL will probably never be used by a significant number of analysts. This conclusion is totally in line with feedback we got from the marketplace. This prompted JC Analytics to develop analytical tools to promote XPRL, especially for credit analysis. So what makes XPRL central for credit analysis? First, and most obvious, it's the size of the U.S. bond market. They amount to about 38 trillion U.S. dollars. Thereof, 23% are related to the corporate debt market. What's striking is that all the fundamental data needed to analyze this market is readily available. The EDGAR database, of the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission delivers this information free of charge to you. Additionally, the classic metrics of credit risk, such as spread, credit default swaps, or ratings, all have drawbacks of their own. Again, highlighting the need of investors to form their own judgment based on financial fundamentals. All those points together make XPRL so interesting for credit analysts to enhance their analytical toolkit. But what are the specific challenges credit professionals are faced with on a day-to-day -day basis? And how can XPRL help here? First, credit analysts are confronted with an enormous number of companies to keep track of. This may be due to monitoring purposes of existing portfolios, but also when deciding on portfolio additions. Second, financial information based on accounting rules is getting more and more complex and, as a result, becomes even for professionals very difficult to spot pressure points quickly. And third, own fundamental analysis and judgment currently requires a lot of number crunching and accuracy checking, which distracts from more value-adding activities. As a result, today's main challenge for investment professionals is not to have access to information. The challenge is to focus on the essentials, to filter out what's important, and to extract insight from a wealth of readily available sources. Now let's take a look how XPRL can be of help to overcome those challenges. 
First, XBRL can speed up processes, especially when it is seamlessly integrated into existing models and monitoring tools. Second, XBRL can improve accuracy as there is no human interaction and no potential for errors. Additionally, XBRL can help to identify and shortlist investment opportunities by searching for a certain set of criteria. And point number four, XBRL allows for better monitoring through automated threshold calculations when integrated properly. In essence, XBRL is extremely helpful in all cases which require ongoing and repetitive tasks for a large number of companies. So what are the features credit analysts as recipient of XBRL are looking for? First, user interface and ease of use is center stage. The user experience known from modern consumer web and mobile applications has to be the benchmark here. Second, financial analysts do need multi-period time series. As a result, an XBRL consuming app has to transform the XBRL data, which is reporting centric, into multi-period timelines. Additionally, strong data visualization capabilities are essential to reduce the complexity and to make it possible to spot key issues easily. And last but not least, with spreadsheets being many analysts' tool of choice, successful XBRL applications need to get data easily exported. Now let's take a look what is ahead for XBRL. The first point here is obvious. XBRL will probably never be the only source of information consulted before taking investment decisions. However, to unlock its full potential, XBRL consuming apps will also need the possibility to process additional sources of information. This information can, for example, be stock market data or financial news. And second, XBRL currently only portrays the financial angle of a company. However, this is just one part of financial analysis. Successful applications must therefore also be able to deal with the soft factors of a company. Such soft factors can be the market position of a firm or an assessment of its risk management systems. Now we reach the end of this webinar. Please let me summarize the key conclusions of this session. One important takeaway of today's webinar is that there is a strong demand for timely and structured data in the analyst community, which can be met with XBRL. However, and that's important, to meet this demand, XBRL consumption has to be as intuitive and as seamlessly integrated as possible with existing applications and workflows. Once those prerequisites are met, XBRL will make many repetitive tasks of credit analysis smarter, faster, and more accurate. Thank you very much for listening to this webinar. In case you have questions or feedback, please do not hesitate to contact me. There are also additional training opportunities in the XBRL space. One of them is the XBRL Foundation Certificate, which comprises of five learning modules. Additionally, there is XBRL International Conference Training on XBRL Connecting the Business and IT World and on Implementing XBRL for your General Lecture. Thank you very much for your attention. Goodbye.